Okay, so I know that public speaking makes you nervous. You have developed a fear in your mind which makes you anxious whenever it comes to speaking in front of an audience. Do you really want to overcome this fear of public speaking? Do you really want to get rid of your nervousness? Then let's get into the video and try to solve this problem today itself and become a more confident and smart public speaker. Hello my dear learners, welcome to the channel. I am your trainer Namita and today in this video we are going to talk about 6 wonderful ways which will help you overcome your fear of public speaking. Let's straight away talk about the ways in which you can give your public presentation in the best possible manner. Now the first thing is confession. Yes, confront your audience. Confess to your listener in the beginning itself that you are feeling nervous or anxious. It helps a lot. When your listeners know that it is your first time or you are yet new to the public speaking thing, then they will understand people are really good out there. They will cheer you up and you will also feel light. It would be like getting rid of a burden of your shoulders. You'll feel more confident as if you've shared what you were feeling inside. So start with confessing that yes, you are nervous and there is nothing wrong in it. Right now, you're not a motivational speaker. You're not an established public speaker who would not be nervous, who would be completely comfortable and would be in ease with your words there is nothing wrong in being honest with your audience try doing that and then you see how light and how wonderful you'll feel in front of the similar people okay the second thing that you all need to do is breathe breathing is very important you know what when we are anxious we tend to breathe quickly and I'm sure you have noticed it that we all breathe quickly our heartbeat gets fast isn't it I'm sure it happens with all of you so deliberately slowing down your breathing sends a signal to your whole body to calm down to relax so when you are paying attention to your breath and you are consciously slowing it down you will notice that your heartbeat is also not very fast your heart is not thumping and pumping inside your body which is further adding on to your nervousness and at the same time your breath has slowed down where your body is also not shaking sometimes there are palpitations we feel when we have to face public you will feel more relaxed you'll be in your calmer self and you'll be able to present everything in a wonderful manner so start paying attention to your breaths a slow breathing in inhale exhale and you can do this before stand, uh, coming and standing on your stage you can simply breathe a few breaths in inhaling and exhaling and you'll feel calmer your body your inside feelings and the butterflies and everything is in control and you can face your audience wonderfully well the third thing that you have to do is speak slowly and this is something which even I am working on I know sometimes I start picking up a pace as if I have to catch a train and this is something which I am working on you know there's this very interesting thing that when it comes to public speaking what feels too slow to us what feels too slow to you almost certainly will appear just right to the audience and I figured it out right now only even when I'm watching my own videos it sounds very fast so while speaking I might feel why am I speaking too slowly but to the audience to the listener it's never too slow it is only too slow for us and speaking slowly also give us some space give us some time to think about the next few words to think about the next point to think about the content when we are very fast we always fall short of words and at the same time the whole body uh, you know proportions will be equally fast as i told you we have to keep our body relaxed we have to keep nervousness aside by keeping this body relaxed if again your heart is beating fast and you're still again short of breath then how will you present it in a relaxed manner so speaking slowly really helps pay attention to every word 
pause after every line it will give you time to think about what you have to speak next so if it is feeling too slow to you don't worry your audience will not feel it's too slow for them it is just right because even they are catching up on your speech they want to listen to you what you are presenting so please speak slowly whenever you are into situation where you have to address a public okay now the fourth thing is smile i keep saying this quote all the time that smile is the only curve which straightens everything when you smile your brain releases neuropeptides this is a kind of hormone that actually reduces your stress level so whenever you're smiling it is not only just letting your body feel de-stressed it is also building helping you build a connection with your audience so smile does a lot more than what we feel isn't it whenever we are smiling there is a signal which the brain catches that you are at ease you're feeling fine if you are nervous if you're not you know your body is shaking you're not being able to stretch your lips in the direction of your eyes then the body also knows it it would not be at ease so if you really want to de-stress yourself make sure you're smiling and smiling solves a lot of problems even if you've missed out on certain words on certain sentences your audience will be happy you are because you're building a connection with them through your smile so make sure you're smiling in between now the fifth thing is always remember your why why are you standing here why are you addressing this audience why are you speaking what you're speaking it is very very important because when you're focused on serving the best need of your audience you will have much less time to worry about yourself if you are not focused on what you're going to deliver you consciously think about yourself how nervous you're feeling how unrelaxed you are how you're forgetting everything how you won't be able to present the best speech so if you want to remove those anxious feelings anxious thoughts you simply have to think about the audience why are you addressing them now what happens when you are nervous the point which you are here to prove it somewhere vanishes you deviate from the topic and it is very common like i am giving you a speech on public speaking i am here to talk about public speaking i want you all to work on your fear and become a confident speaker so if i start i i mention neuropeptide so if i start talking about neuropeptides that guys do you know neuropeptides are a kind of brain transmitters they help you de stress just like dopamine these hormones i get into that detail and i forget to talk about public speaking then i forgotten my why why have i come here come here why am i filming this video i'm completely deviated from my topic and this doesn't make any sense are you getting it so sticking to your why will help you present your speech in the best possible way and that is what you want you don't want to be nervous so just stick to your why why are you here what was your topic don't deviate too much don't add on to extra information just stay where you are to the point all right now the sixth thing is and it is not exactly a point i will not give you a heading i'll simply say darlings confidence is equal to preparation always remember that your confidence equals to preparation you can only speak as well as you have practiced if you have not practiced enough obviously you won't be able to present your speech in the best way practice rehearse speak in advance as much as you can you should be very clear about your topic the details the pointers the content how you're going to introduce how you're going to explain everything and how you're going to conclude should be right there in your mind and it comes with practice your confidence is directly dependent on your preparation are you prepared well if you think that okay i'll speak spontaneously then be ready for the pauses be ready for the backlash be ready for everything but if you've prepared well there are less chances that you'll fumble there are less chances that you will not come out with flying colors so these are the six things which will really help you 
to remove your nervousness and it works but how does it work if you follow them it doesn't work by just watching a video write all these six points down if you have to appear for a presentation or you have to appear for a debate or any group discussion or anything of that sort write these six points down and start working on them start paying attention to your breaths right now only right now after watching this video take a few deep breaths and feel the calmness that just starts developing inside you right now start preparing for your topic right now only start smiling look at yourself in the mirror how good you will feel about yourself all these things actually work but only when you follow them so this was all about this video on public speaking i've created one more video on public speaking which i link over here you can go watch it it had different points to work on your sage fear and all of that and if you like this video you can consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you in my next video till then take care of yourself keep working on your self-improvement and i'll see you bye bye